Welcome to Fox and Robin Recording. I am Justin, and today we're looking at guitar tones. So today uh, we've got our trusty Fender Telecaster here. Uh, we've got a Vox AC30 somewhere back there. It's I, I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's back there. And uh, we're using our D&M drive from Keeley, which you can see uh, an overview slash rant that we did kind of on it and our guitar tone. Um, we do have a tuner that we're using, just so you know. We are going to try to do this in tune. Um, it is a polytune in case uh, anybody's uh, curious or wants to know what it is or is just looking for a good tuner. Um, they're hard to find. Hard to find good tuners. Um, so anyways, uh, today, I think right now we've got just straight, straight into the amp right now. So, um, trying to give you a little bit here, we've got, it's kind of clean, kind of a clean sound, um, maybe a little bit of grit, um, just from the tubes and in it. Um, so, I don't know, it, it sounds pretty good to me gonna sound on camera but uh, we're giving it a try we're just using the shotgun mic on top of our camera here um, so if it turns out it turns out great if it doesn't um, I would throw this through our computer and stuff and record it but right now it's uh, it's installing an update that could take a while so anyways we're gonna try this today so we've got clean, clean tone um, just straight into the amp and I believe um, I got the gain up. If I can turn right here, look. We've got the gain. We've got the volume about half. Gain's about half. Masters are maybe a little lower than that. Um, kind of just a, you know, overall. Um, tried to look at it back there for you, but uh, maybe uh, maybe I'll do a, a B B roll shot of it of the settings on the amp. But it's it's pretty it's pretty just what is. There's a little bit of reverb on it from the amp itself. Um, we left the tremolo alone, um, just because it's more interested in the tone of this AC30 or the AC30 and this guitar. Um, depending on what your volume is, and down, you kind of roll it up and down here to get you know your different kind of saturations through the amp. Um, that's what tube amps are really good at. Um, even some solid states are really good at that too. Um, my son's got a, a fender back here that you get the drive going on. It sounds really cool. Um, just a little fender practice amp that he's he's learning on. Yeah, you kind of roll back. It gets a little darker too. A little darker when you roll that that volume back. Um, and we have the tone all the way cranked on this. It's wide open. So now we're gonna go into. What is our boost channel on the DNM drive? Uh, it's set where there's a little bit of drive. It's maybe set about 40% drive. We've got quite a bit of top end rolled into it. So it, the tone is set almost at 75. And then we've got the gain, the actual, what do you call it there? The, basically the output volume of it is, is not quite 25%, maybe a little less of 25, somewhere through there. But this is kind of what it sounds like. Pet the wrong chord there. Um, but anyways, it it uh it kind of gives you just kind of just pushes the tubes just a little bit more. And actually, we might take my shoe off here. Roll up just a little bit, the drive just up a little bit more, just to get a little more. You get a little bit of groove, a little bit of crunch, you know, just a little growl. And it's just pushing those tubes just a little harder, um, just to kind of give you maybe a little more bluesy-ish. I wouldn't say quite bluesy-ish, but just kind of give you a little more of a, a crunch, enough to rattle the snare drum apparently um, in here. We forgot to turn the snare drum off. Anyways, but the it kind of gives you just this overdrive. Just a little bit. I can play notes. So you kind of got that. Um, we'll go into 
what is the overdrive drive section or drive section of this, this Keeley pedal? And it's we've got it set kind of similar to uh, the boost side, but just a little darker and a little heavier drive. <laughs> Here. There's no rhyme to the chord structure here, but anyways, it uh, it kind of just gives you this nice overdriven sound. Not too bright, not too dark. Just kind of a. It's taken a while. I'm still kind of tweaking it, but that is kind of the overdrive. Now, one might ask, take the overdrive and the boost and put them together. What do we get? Well, this pedal I can put them in either order. So, which was also in order. So here is what it would sound like if we were to add the boost to that drive. Kind of gives you kind of this uh, really overdrive and maybe a little brighter, brighter sound. I don't know, um, it's something I'm still kind of playing around with, but um, the idea is you could have it set, now if we were to turn it around, we have the boost first right now, so here's with the boost after the drive, and it's going to give us something maybe like this. I actually really like the way that sounds. Um, almost gives you kind of a nice uh, like punkish type sound, um, punk rock sound if you really wanted something like that, even out of a telly. Um, Anyways, uh, those are kind of the three sounds, four sounds really, um, that we get out of this one pedal, which is great. Um, we are still looking for more tone things to play with here as we were building this. This whole video line is kind of a, an experiment and journey. So, but uh, as you can tell, we kind of got we got it set uh, the way that we kind of like it right now. We add another pedal. We end up kind of looking at adding a fuzz um, which could change the whole dynamic of how this is all working which would be another fun video for us all so but you know guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe look out for more videos and